The question I get most often on TikTok, Discord, and my Twitch is, hey, how do I start making content? How do I get an audience? And answer I really don't like giving, but I have to give is start making content, right? And I wanna look at some of my favorite YouTubers and hopefully some of your favorite YouTubers as well and just show you starting to make content, even if it's really bad, goes a long way. You're gonna learn about editing, you're gonna be learning about the workflow, you're gonna be learning about a lot of things. And taking a look back at some of these amazing content creators, it shows you not everybody knows everything right away. You gotta just take the journey and see where it takes you. So with that being said, let's go over to the Great Tech Reviewers YouTube channel and see how he got his start and work through a bunch of my favorites and see where they ended up and how they got there. So I think the perfect example of what I'm talking about is MKBHD, right? 13.2 million subscribers, but if you go to his oldest videos, which I'm gonna do a lot today, it's 13 year old golf swing analysis. And this right here, the HP Pavilion uh, Media Center Remote Overview, 4.1 million views. It's just an iconic video, I feel like, in YouTube of just showing just a kid at that point, just talking about something he loves. And you can literally see the progression of what he's doing and how it comes to be, you know, MKBHD, like literally the best tech of your, and one of the best content creators on this site. And it's just amazing to see, like he just started posting things and stuff he liked. And I'm telling you this, the editing flow, the workflow just gets better and better and better over time to the point where if you look at his uh, newest video, he's, interviewing Obama but now serious talk though like these videos are just so highly edited but the workflow and everything wasn't there in the beginning you know he just had a webcam like me and he just started posting videos and eventually you get to the point where you learn you learn how to edit you learn how to cut video you learn how to film video you learn how to take b-roll things I'm still learning how to do and you get to a point where it's just awesome and you just create content and I'll be honest with you Somebody like this, oh, though he has 13.2 million subscribers, if he had zero, I guarantee you he'd still be doing this today just because you can just see people love to make videos. These types of people just love to make videos. And then to the point of like loving to make videos, there's Colin and Samir, right? My personal favorite creators on this platform. They do a lot of like breakdown for YouTube, kind of I guess what I'm doing. I watch a lot of breakdowns, so it just makes sense. It's about your inspirations as well. And you see now they're doing these awesome breakdowns with really awesome thumbnails. And if you look at it, they're just talking about why YouTube works, how YouTube works, and they found their niche. But if you look at their oldest videos, how to launch a startup, the video I found them from actually, a day in the life of Colin Samir, home away from home, um, unboxing our new stickers. I don't know where, oh, Bordies right here. Bordies making a skateboard company. This right here is not breaking down how YouTube works, but once you start seeing it, it starts like, okay, you get the ball rolling, you get the ball rolling, you, they're seeing what works. They understand how everything works on their channel and why they're making certain videos. And you can literally see the progression of, hey, what are we doing to literally, oh, this is what we're doing in such a short time and small amount of videos comparatively. And I found them, what, 20, 30,000 subscribers. And now they're on 173,000 subscribers and they see this, uh, you guys are awesome, like genuinely like my favorite creators on this platform. And then if you look at Mr. Beast, literally not much to be said here, uploading Minecraft and Pokemon Showdown videos, which I used to do on a very old channel, which nobody's gonna find gaming clips. And well, if you, if you look at it now, if you look at newest uploads, he's Mr. Beast. Enough said there, it's Mr. Beast. <laughs> And well, not everybody is Matty Apoya the first time they pick up a camera, right? If you look at it, the first videos that he has are absolutely beautiful. Trust me, I don't know how to do any of this. I don't know how to color grade a video. I don't know how to edit very well, if at all. It's very bare bones, but something like this is just awesome. They're beautiful videos and you can't look at something like this and get discouraged. You gotta take a journey because trust me, he has been on one just as much as any other YouTuber has been on, right? Sometimes it's not how great something looks, it's about the content. And trust me, his content and the value in his content has been there from the beginning. But don't get discouraged when you see amazing looking videos, right? Don't get discouraged when, go back to MKBHD, his videos look like this now and they're beautiful. You gotta look, once they looked exactly how this video looked, right? So if, if somebody like this 
started how I'm making these videos, everybody has hope. You know, you can learn. And everybody's got to learn some way. And everybody's journey is a journey that's going to have to be taken, right? And that's what we got to understand. It's a long, it's a long way, but we're all going to get there someday. And yeah, why am I making this video? To tell you to go create? Yes, but for me. When I'm watching this video in a year from now, even a week from now, and I don't know what to make, and I just have an idea that may be weird and out there and something that may not fit with my TikTok or YouTube, you know what? Go try it. Go just post something and see what happens. If you don't get any views, you know what? It's not about the numbers. It's about the love for making videos, and that's what you love to do, man. So just go make videos. That's, that's, what, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Just go create something, do something different, do something you want to do. Don't listen to everybody else. Just go start making videos. Because that's the biggest thing. If I start making videos to this day, every single time I'm going to get better. My workflow is going to get better. Hopefully one day with just things, I can get a nice camera. I can go get a nice setup and everything. And my workflow is going to get better. I storyboard this whole video. I probably said that. It didn't work out. You got to figure out what works. And that's the biggest thing. So Jordan, when you're watching this, Go make some videos, you know, just go make something different. If it's a video you don't think that's going to work that well, go make it anyways. It doesn't hurt. You're going to learn how to edit. You're going to learn how to do something new. So go do it. Just go do it. By looking at everybody, I'm just going to tell you this. For you to start making content, you literally need a tripod and a phone. You, you don't need any of this fancy equipment. You just need something that can record and talk. It's, it's all you need. Because this tripod has helped me out a lot of times and so has my phone. So just showing you guys those two things, it's like, you know what? A phone goes a long way, it really does, especially one with a good camera. So yeah, taking a look at everybody on this list today, it shows you not everybody had the same start, but it shows you that once you start, you're gonna end up somewhere. And it may not be a million subscribers or may not be 10,000, may not be a thousand, but you're gonna get somewhere. If you post consistent good content that gives someone value, you're gonna get there. And one day I hope it's me. So future Jordan, look back on this video in a year and say, you know what, recreate this. See what you've learned, see, see what editing you've learned, see who you've met, see what you're doing and how your storytelling has evolved. Because that's the thing. Making this video, I've shot it 20 times. I literally can go on my phone right now into my photos and show you how many clips I have not used two different locations into the point where I'm just talking into my webcam camera at this point. My workflow is going to improve and making content is the only way it's going to do that. So thank you guys for watching and you know this, go create some content and tag me in it, show it to me and I'm willing to watch everything and just give you guys advice and help out because honestly we're in this together, we're all making content together. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this and tell me what you want to see and what you want to see me talk about. So thank you guys. I'm going to head out. See you later.